It's official. I'm about to pick up my plots. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, my name is Rose, my pronouns are she, her, and if you don't know, we've had a huge home renovation, I actually made videos about it if you're interested, and the plants had moved away for about three months into my brother-in-law's house, my sister-in-law's house, because they couldn't survive here in the chaos, and today is the day that I'm showing you how they moved back. Ah, Freddy's coming home today! Let's go see how they are doing. They've been here almost three months and currently it's not really cold. It's been cold for one period and I saw the temperatures drop a lot here, but it's gonna get cold again on I think Saturday or Sunday. It's starting to freeze again at night. So it's perfect timing to move all these guys back so that they're home in the warmth before that. Let's see how they are doing. These look fine. There's some dead leaves on this one. Ooh, this Hoya, look at that. This Hoya definitely struggled with I don't know what, probably cold, maybe also watering issues. And this here at the window also got too cold, I think. Whoops. But that's okay, here's some more dead leaves. But there's plenty of material that still looks healthy, that's just a bit dehydrated, that I can start the plant again from. Here's a dead alocasia leaf, which is also fine because this one is also growing a new leaf over here. Look at that. Very nice. This Hoya, oh, bunch of leaves falling off on the Hoya, especially the ones that are touching the windows, apparently. Let's see. This one still looks great, so that's nice. All the new tendrils, though, I don't know if you can see here and here, they are all dead. See, that doesn't have life anymore, all the way back to here, so I'll have to chop those off. This one is still good over here, but then here it's dead. Funny enough, the syngonium doesn't show any signs of struggle. Well, I, that's a lie. There's some browning over here, especially the yellow parts, but still looks pretty nice. My green on green monstera has a new leaf that came out. So this definitely didn't mind the colder temperatures. I'm very curious to see the variegation on it. Pastazanum and Plaumani. This is Plaumani. Plaumani actually looks pretty good. The pasta zanums, mm, a little bit yellowy, not perfect. The luna cuttings don't show any difference. They're not growing necessarily, but they're also not dying. I've been looking for the growth points on these, but nothing is happening. The gloriosum did have some leaves that turned brown. And down here is a plant that fully died. It dropped all the leaves, the lemon lime philodendron. But the gloriosum still looks pretty good all over. Some older leaves are browning, but that will make it easier to fit on my windowsill again, so that's okay. This alocasia looks stunning. That's definitely doing quite well, and the Hoya as well. This Hoya does have a lot of mealy bugs, but it had that when I hung it up here. <laughs> Another Monstera doing great. I would love to have more yellow variegation. Spencer has been struggling a little bit. It had some edema and he's not grown new leaves. Oh, this looks pretty new. I don't know. Mm, let's see. This one, Majestic, is making a new leaf actually. And these moss balls are the driest moss balls you've ever seen, but that's okay. Fairy, the Monstera, grew this leaf. That looks stunning. There is some brown, oh, I see another new leaf. There's some browning on the older leaves, which is a shame. It used to be a very, very full plant, but that's no longer the case. But that's okay, that happens. And then here, I spotted a new leaf. So that's very nice, the top cutting. This was the previous leaf. It's making another one that I didn't even see come out. And then there's the baby plant back here. The yellow variegated Frydeck, that's not so, variegated. Also still looks pretty good. The leaves are drooping quite a lot. Might be because I haven't watered it in a while. So this, yeah, uh, we'll see if that recovers from watering or if it just needs a winter dormancy. I always forget, but there are two more plants here in the living room. One of them is Chris, which is doing well. And the other one is my king of spades. 
with the crumply up leaf that came out before. Hmm. Seems okay. It will be a process of recovering my plants but at least they're getting to go home with me now. Okay, time to move them. Luckily, my boyfriend and his brother helped. And here I come with the biggest one. Ferry was very hard to lift, but he's beautiful. So he got his own front seat in the car. Have a good trip, guys. And I actually had to walk home while my boyfriend drove them to our house. During the unloading, Maggie immediately came to investigate. She loves hanging out underneath the plants and giving them little head buds. It's adorable. Hello friends, welcome home. It is definitely warmer here than it was in their previous spot. So let's find them. Spots again! What? The plants are back, but honestly, I'm a little bit overwhelmed because the house is still not really ready to put plants. So I don't know where to put them, but I want to take them out of the boxes because they're all crammed together and I broke some leaves on the way here, but I don't know where to put them. For now, I just popped most of them on the new windowsill, which I showed you in the last renovation video because there they get enough light and I don't have to think about it too much for a while. And a great look of my plants. Good morning. The first morning with plants back in the house. I installed my grow light in the last renovation video, so I popped more plants under that as well. This is it for now. I put Ferry in the corner there because he's too big for the windowsill. A few plants over here, but we're gonna move quite a few of them upstairs soon because my boyfriend has been working on a windowsill upstairs, which is also our south facing window. So a bunch of them can move upstairs. Of course, a Monstera all the way back there is not getting enough light. So I was so excited to have the plants back, even though some of them look very sad at the moment. This one looks amazing. Guys. And the cats also loved it. Look at them being <laughs> adorable and investigating. Yay, plant friends are back. <laughs> Good morning. I wanted to show you what it looks like now because it's really kind of nice looking. I still, of course, have to get more plants back and reinstall shelves and grow lights and stuff, but pretty happy with this so far. Good morning. Today is the day that I move my Hoya shelves from out of storage back to the house on a skateboard. The best way to move stuff. For now, I just put the shelves in the kitchen. I've noticed that with this renovation, my energy levels have gone down even more. So every little project, like picking up the shelves, takes a lot out of me and then I need to rest. Look at this, the plants are in the sunshine. Wow, this is nice to see after so much non-sunshiny days. It's finally time to move this all back. So these shelves are supposed to be here this terrarium is supposed to be in there and we're going to do all of that. But first I'm going to have to clean because this is very dirty. And then here as well, <laughs> look at this, all the renovation dirt needs to be cleaned up. All the dust, our house gets so, so dusty so quickly. Step one, the small terrarium is back in the living room. It definitely needs a good clean still because that's not the way it's supposed to look, but that's okay. At least it's here now. <laughs> We're having a little break. I'm chilling in our armchair that Maggie loves too. And look what we've done so far. I set up the shelves again. I cleaned them. And I changed the light setup a little bit so there's a little bit more light on those two shelves because for Hoya, these lights are not really bright enough. And then below I can use as storage instead of just plant space. And over there is the small terrarium that I still need to clean on the inside. But that might be a project for another day because we're having a little rest moment. <laughs> I love how much they love these secondhand chairs, the super cheap chairs. We might have to keep them a little while. 
I didn't film this, but I picked up the last batch of plants at my sister-in-law's. She had most of my Hoya and some of the easier to take care of plants, mostly because she lives a little bit further away, so it was harder for me to go over there and keep an eye on them. Look who are home. All the plants are back officially, including some flowering and some brown leaves <laughs> and some new leaves and more new leaves. I'll show you in a second, but first I have to unpack. Look who's back. All the plants are finally home. Another box and one bag. And that is it! I actually didn't film an update on these plants when they got in. It was again, probably I was on the sofa sleeping. <laughs> but here's the before and after of the shelves. Again, I just put them all in there without thinking too much. I will probably change this and improve it as we go along in the year. Not all plants looked good or even survived. If you were wondering how my baby queens were doing, because you haven't seen them in a while, that's because I put their box in the greenhouse and it's been freezing. This is what they look like right now. I can feel the cold coming from the box. All the leaves have died off from cold damage, but we're gonna try and see if there is still some life in the stems. This Hoya Scortaccini that unfortunately I took a cutting to try and save it earlier, but even the cuttings didn't make it. Luckily, the friend that I got it from actually just gave me a new cutting this weekend at the plant market. So I'm very excited to own this again and to grow it again because it is a stunning, stunning Hoya. And my Hoya Thompsoni Pink flowered for the first time. I was so excited to see them. They're so beautiful. Oh, it smells so good too. I think I took a million photos of this flower because it is so beautiful. And now we're here the 13th of March as I'm posting this and as I'm filming this. And I thought it would be fun to include an update on these plants two months since moving back home. It's definitely made a huge improvement being in a warmer space, being in a more insulated space, getting all the light that they were used to in the south facing windows that I have. So let's take a look. Currently in the windowsill is apple. I repotted this and actually a lot of the roots were dead. So I kept this one, it only had like one root and I kept one leaf and then two little babies. And the other plant I gave to my mom. I showed that in a chores video recently. <laughs> the alocasia. This one still looks exactly the same as before, only now it's leaning against our nicely insulated window. This one I think might be starting to grow something. Can you see the darkness on the side here? That's usually a sign for alocasia that they're pregnant with a new leaf. The yellow variegated baby is meh, looking a little bit snotty at the moment. I don't think this is great. I wonder if I overwatered it or something. It's a little bit stuck in here. Come on. It is stuck in water and it looks like, oh, pond everywhere, semi-hydro. A lot of water. Happy roots though, so maybe it's gonna be okay. Oh, I made a mess. Then these guys, I actually propagated this in a recent video, which I will show you soonish. <laughs> and Gigas. Oh, this was actually not one of the ones that moved away. This was one that moved away and that keeps having mealybugs, which is super annoying. I keep removing them, but it's not successful. This is a Hoya Thompsoni Splash. I might put this in a box with the good bugs so that they can get all the little crevices. Crevasses? Crevasses? <laughs> then the big long pot with the Plaumani and Pastazanum. It looks pretty good. There's some yellowing leaves, but there's also, look at this. This is a little baby Plaumani that's growing. There's a new Plaumani leaf on the way here as well, and it keeps flowering. I keep breaking off the flowers because I don't want them, but it keeps coming back. And then a little pasta zanum as well. I feel like pasta zanum struggled a bit more in the cold than plamani. Plamani is a very strong plant and I love it. It's beautiful. If you look at the ruffles on the back of the leaves, I love this one. Chris is back in his spot. He looks so beautiful. Actually, he looks exactly the same as before. Maybe a few more brown spots, but no new growth yet or anything. 
I don't know. We'll just leave it there and wait. <laughs> Behind Thais, the Thai constellation, is my yellow variegated Monstera Deliciosa that is currently making a new leaf, see? And I propagated this as well. I'm gonna show you updates on that as it's growing. Thais stayed here, but I did want to show you because it's finally growing a new leaf. It's been, I don't know, like 20 weeks. So yay. The Hoya shelves have some plants on here that you're not looking at. That's <laughs> for a future video. But other than that, oh, this is growing. Hold on. See that? That's two little growth points on my Callistophylla that hasn't done anything in ages. That's amazing. This Alocasia is definitely not getting enough light up here. I think it is not happy. We should move that somewhere down here. Don't look at those because those are those are all new. This one definitely still has some mealybug issues. We're gonna make maybe a mealybug treatment corner. That one as well. The syngoniums, I don't think they mind it at all to be in the cold, be in a different spot. These were all so easy. This is a mixed pot. And oh, I'm so excited about this. Oli, the obovata, is growing a whole new branch here. Whole new branch in the back there. Actually, it looks like it's budding up there too on this thing. So this is definitely amazing. I love this plant, but it took so long to not grow. So I'm testing out this little one in living room conditions. This is normally a terrarium plant. We'll see how that goes. Some of the Hoya down here are, I think, dying like this one. But I know I took a cutting, one cutting that is rooting again of this one that's in water at the moment. But then this one, the Hoya Viola, is just growing new leaves all over. So I don't know. It's, I'm just gonna wait, water, fertilize, and see what happens. Oh, here's an example of, oops. Here's an example of what didn't go well. This is that pot of gold. Definitely all the stems died. I took cuttings. I'm not sure if they still have enough life force to even survive. Several of these Hoya, I think, might actually die because they dried up too much or they got too cold. I don't know exactly why, but they don't look great. The little terrarium is looking absolutely incredible. I don't think it minded at all. The Maranta had so many brown and yellow leaves, but it also has new leaves growing. So I can't be too wor worried because it's still alive and growing. That's okay. In the bathroom, I put some of the smaller plants in this little shelf. This one has a ton of thrips damage, as you can see, but also new leaves. And look at that, another new branch on there. So we're just gonna put some good bugs, wait and see. My skin dapses, I adjusted a little bit on a pole and one of the growth points died, but the other one is making a new leaf. So one out of two, pretty good 50% success. Oh my over here we're upstairs now this corner is the thrips corner these plants did so well they grew so well they look beautiful but also apparently thrips love them so i've put them to the side here and we're gonna put a bunch of good bugs on them and hope this is an isolation box for the scale good bugs and my queen is in there as well to recover out of the terrarium but in general growing well but also pest issues this ghost lived with my sister-in-law. It looks a little bit sad because it got stuck in there, but I think it's growing again. This had thrips issues as well before. There's some yellow leaves, but that is to be expected anyway with plants. And it looks like there's some pests on here as well. What does that look like? Let's zoom in. I'm not sure now if it's a pest or if it's just dirt and dust from our house that's collected in the on all the leaves, look at how dusty this is. Yeah, clean your leaves, but that's for another day because I'm busy. Most of these plants stayed with me, but here we have the sport variegated Monstera that stayed at my brother-in-law and that is making a new leaf over there. So that's growing well, beautiful pot as well. The variegated Monstera cuttings that lived with my brother-in-law are also finally growing as soon as I moved them into my south-facing windowsill over here. Ow! Oh. This is a mean plant. It just grabbed my arm. <laughs> this is my boyfriend's plant. I don't want it. There's no blood. It's okay. But I moved it over there for safety. So as soon as I moved them into the south-facing window here, 
the light that they were used to before, they all started growing. Also, I'm sure spring helped. The Clemens Yolum that's here, also very exciting. Look at this huge leaf back here, is finally growing leaves again. There and there and a new branch, new tendril. This one especially is just, look at this, with my hand. The size is amazing, so I'm excited to see that grow. And then, let's move you back a little bit so the people can see you. Ferry, oh, he definitely has a lot of browning, which mainly I think happened because it was really cold in the space that they were, much colder than I would like for my tropical plants. But it's only, it's browning in the white parts, it's normal. Some of the older leaves are still, actually they look exactly the same as two months ago, so I guess moving them into better conditions stopped their decline but they're on the way out. This part, the top plant, the mama plant, has made this beautiful half moony leaf. Let's see how the browning happens on this because in my experience, in my house, it has never really browned a lot before, unless it's a super old leaf. So we'll see how this new leaf in my conditions, warmer, better light, how it goes. The top cutting over here that grew one leaf during the renovation, there is no new leaf on the way yet. And then this baby plant in the back has just opened this lovely leaf. Isn't that so sweet? I'm so excited. My boyfriend suggested to move him up here because now there's just a lot more light with the new windows. So I get to see him a lot better. He's being seen from all sides with this pot, which is nice. And I'm very happy to know that he is doing okay, that he's recovering. Oh, and this one, the Epipremnum Neon, the hanging pothos, is looking good. It's growing again. There's some yellow leaves, definitely also some thrips issues and bare stems at the top here. So I might restart this somehow, but um, I'm surprised at how much neglect it survived. You can see here, especially the thrips damage a little bit more clearly, brown edges, just that's not very happy. I might move this so that the thrips stay away from the rest of the plants. But also I'm kind of assuming that they are everywhere because they get around and they like to multiply. Luckily I got new good bugs in today against thrips and all the other things that are in my house at the moment. I got a double amount of these baggies because they also work against flat mites on the Hoya, which I definitely have some issues with, especially in the small terrarium. So I'm going to put them out now. Overall, we had some losses for sure that are a little bit sad, but at the same time, they can be replaced. They're not the hardest ones. Like if Thais would have withered, that would have been much more sad than some of the Hoya. So overall, I'm pretty pleased, especially with how much they have recovered since moving back here, how much they're already growing now. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe below if you haven't already, leave a nice comment, and you can join my YouTube and Patreon memberships for extra and a monthly Zoom call. Thank you so much for being here. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, friends. Mwah!